You know, I find this absolutely hilarious. So now, now, now they're against this. Now they're against this. Whereas before, they're all for this. They're happy about this. It's a good thing. But now, now when it's done to them, now it's wrong. Now it's wrong. So, hello everybody, welcome to the Entertainment Channel. And today I am bringing to you guys this article from the Mary Sue. So, you already know this is garbage, which... Look, if, if you don't know the Mary Sue, let me just tell you this. Do not go to their website. Don't ever go to their website. This is a garbage website. Every single person who works on this is absolutely insane. It's filled to the brim with hypocrites, as you're about to see with this article. I mean, seriously, just look. I'm doing this so you don't have to. Seriously, do not go to this website. Do yourself a favor. Go play video games, watch a movie. Just anything other than, you know, uh, going to this website. So, um, th and this is comes from Princess Weeks, terrible name. Uh, this Julia Pennyworth casting choice in Bad Woman is wrong. Oh boy. Yesterday, Entertainment Weekly released images of Christina Wolf as Julia Pennyworth, daughter of Alfred Pennyworth, and I felt my eyebrow tweak a little bit because, as I recall, the New 52 established that Alfred's daughter was half black and visibly black at that. Now, I'm guessing that uh, this is her right here. Uh, a quick Google search showed that I was correct in this, and I'm not amused in the slightest. Of course you're not. I did a little digging, and yes. Then again, are you ever happy? Are you? Are you, Princess Weeks? Are you ever happy? Are you? Are you ever truly happy? I did a little digging, and yes, at one point, another version of Julia Pennyworth did exist. The character was first created by Gary Conway and Don Newton in Detectives Comics number uh, 501 under the name Julia Remark. In that incarnation, she was a white woman and her mother was a woman named Mademoiselle Marie. And the character was another non human reporter. Okay. Uh, this version of Julia was erased from existence following the collapse of the original multiverse in the 1985-86 Crisis on Infinite Earths limited series. Therefore, the version from the New 52 is the correct canonical incarnation of Julia Pennyworth. Well, I mean... See, technically, you can't really consider it canon because you you just admitted that there was another version of her that was white, but now she, that was retconned to be now she was retconned to be half black. So who knows? I mean, before as as much as as far as you know, they could do another retcon to where she's white again, or maybe this time she's Mexican, or she's Hindu, or she's Muslim. Like you see, I mean, oh boy. The Prime Earth Julia Pennyworth first appeared as part of the New 52 DC Universe in Batman Volume 2, issue number 28, and was created by Scott Snyder and James Tinian IV. She and Alfred have a distant relationship, and part of her early introduction is reconciling with her father and becoming a part of the Bat family. Now, you might think, well, maybe since there are multiple versions of the character, this show is playing with a different version of Julia. Well, no. Because when you look at the description of this incarnation of Julia on Entertainment Weekly, they are pulling from the Snyder Tinian version. Okay, so and the article just goes on and on to, to basically talk about. So basically, the the point of this article is this: Why is it okay for them to complain when they take a character in a comic that is depicted as black or let's say Mexican, Asian, Hindu, Muslim? Any of any of those other any of those ethnicities, and yet when they cast a white character, a white actress to play that character, now they're 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 all up in arms. Like they they wait a minute, what what are you what are you doing? What are you doing? And yet, when people like us who go ahead who go online and say that they don't like the fact that they're race swapping uh, race swapping characters or gender swapping characters. We're called racist, sexist, homophobes, all those other is. I know homophobe has nothing to do with this, but yeah, this this is the kind of people that we're dealing with. So now it's not okay. Like, oh, see, when it's done to you, now it's not okay. Now you're against this. But when they take a character that is that has always been predominantly white, like you look at Supergirl, they take they took Jimmy Olsen, who was a white redhead. And they cast a black actor. Nobody said anything. 
But when they take a character that was, you know, depicted as black in the comics, and they hire a white actress to play her, now, now it's against the rules. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa you, you can't do this. No, no, no. And you're going to have a bunch of, and I'm sure there are going to be a bunch of super YouTubers who are going to say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Being black is a part of blah, 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 and all this other stupid crap. Anything to, to, to try and justify, you know, like when they when they hire a black actress to play a character that, that was depicted as white in the comics, they're going to find some sort of excuse like saying, oh, like her, her ethnicity doesn't matter and all that stuff. But now when it's a black character being portrayed by a white person, now it's, oh, no, 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 that's wrong. You you are being a racist and all that crap. Like, you're going to see them doing this. They'll try to come up with every single excuse under the sun just to try and justify why they're upset. And yet, and they'll come do this, they'll do the exact same thing when it's people like us who say that we don't like you when you take a character who is depicted as white who's always depicted as as white in like 30 40 years of comic book history and you cast someone who's black because just because not even because whether or not the actress is is actually fit for the role no it's because we we were just trying to win some brownie points don't don't even lie don't even pretend okay and again you're going to have a bunch of youtubers saying well it doesn't matter that what her ethnicity is because they hired her because she's obviously right for the role. No, that is BS. That is BS and they know it. It's BS and they know it. So do not listen to them. Okay, that's all that's all these studios care about, especially especially Hollywood these days. That's all they care about. The only reason why they even try to score brownie points with these people is because they think that, you know, it, it's gonna get more people t- to, to watch their shows or get more people to go to their movies when in reality it isn't if you don't believe me look at Terminator Dark Fate that movie bombed and you, you're gonna have some people saying well it's because that movie um, you know that movie people just aren't interested in Terminator as they used to be or the movie itself was bad and yes those are I'm, yes those are part of the reasons why that movie failed but also a big part of the movie is because a big or a big part of the um, the reason why the film failed and why people didn't go out to see it is because a certain director decided before before months before the movie even came out decided it would be a fun idea to go online and open his mouth and try, try to to try and score brownie points and the second people saw that they they got a pretty good idea of what the movie might be and let me tell you as somebody who's actually seen the movie you, if if you if you skip this if you skip Terminator Dark Fate as somebody who saw the movie, um, you, you did yourself a favor. That that movie was garbage. It was it was two hours of absolute garbage. <sighs> anyway, now look at this. Like they these people are just proving us right. All these pe- all anyone on the internet who talks about these people calling them out for being hypocrites. Congratulations, the Mary Sue. You just proved you just proved them right. Congratulations. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that's all I have to say. That's gonna be the video. Again, this is from the Mary Sue. I'm telling you now, do not go to do not go to this website. This website is absolute garbage. It's written by it's run by garbage people. It's run by hypocrites. Do not go to this website. I only did this so you didn't have to. So anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe, all that nice stuff. And I hope you join me on my next video. Bye.